What's up everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm going to be playing Crash of the Titans again. This is part two, we're going to head on to episode two, where things will get a bit more interesting in terms of plot, and yeah, so let's begin. I really like this loading screen. Alright, so hands down, one of the best levels in this game, I mean just look at it. Look at this shit. This is amazing. Also, this is unrelated as fuck. But, uh... Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> you know what I find funny about fighting these titans? Dude, they just be chilling, minding their own business. But as soon as we show up, shit just changes. But, yeah, y'all see the, uh... The pattern that's glowing on the titan that's crashes tattoos? You know, those tattoos, along with the mojo... Is what makes Crash bond with these uh, creatures, as well as Aku Aku. So everything just flows together really well. There's actually concept art of Crash on this Titan, this exact Titan in this game that you gotta find in one of the levels where Crash actually has his gloves on. So they didn't completely ditch the idea. It was considered, you know, for Crash Bandicoot to have his gloves, but uh, they just wanted to have the tattoos. And honestly, I think it works better because if he had gloves on, it would have just concealed like the full design. The entire purpose of the tattoos for the uh, Titans in the gameplay, which is pretty important. IMO. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this is one of the best like looking levels in the game. The game overall in general just looks good. But when you consider like the environments that Crash Bandicoot is always in at the, throughout like majority of the games, everything just looks really really good. Uh, and once again, I'm just gonna say this again, because I mentioned this in the first part, but it, it seems that, like, someone didn't really pay attention. And I don't, I don't mean to say this out of disrespect or anything, however, I'm just gonna say that, yo, if I want to play the game with everything unlocked, then that's what I'm gonna do, fam. If that's what I feel like doing, then I'm just gonna do that. Come on. Come on. Come on, fam. Alright. Let's get this mojo. Just want the fruit. You're mine now, fam. Uh, this Titan is actually okay. Uh, give me one second, though. Snipe. Okay, that's his name. Snipe. That's pretty funny. It's because he one-shot shit. I never thought of how clever that was till now, 11 years later after the game's release. I do wish that you could pocket Titans in this game. You can do it in Modern Immune, but I wish you could do it in this. Still, I prefer this game over uh, Modern Immune. Just a bit. But I like Modern Immune too. Modern Immune is dope. But yeah, uh, what the freak was I saying? Oh yeah, I was just telling, you know, I was just saying that if, yo, if I want to play the game with every ability unlocked, then I'm just going to do it. People are saying it's taking the fun out of the game, but I feel like it's taking the fun out of the... I think it's taking the fun out of your expectations more than anything. Because if you're speaking in general and thinking it can resonate with the player, just because the me, you know the player, aka me, wants to play the game with every ability online, that doesn't mean it's not going to be fun for me at all. Because I genuinely enjoy this game, you know, with or without all the abilities unlocked. If I'm being quite honest with you. Okay, is there like a wall right here? I don't know how the heck we like. <laughs> I don't know how that was possible. And plus, one of the reasons why I'm even playing the game with every ability unlocked is so that everything isn't so so that everything has a good pace to it, and so I can play this like any other Crash Bandicoot game, at least a traditional Crash Bandicoot game. You know. I think you can jump up here with some good timing. Jump up with the X button. It's called wall climbing, Aku Aku. And press the X button to jump even higher. <laughs> You know, Tag Team Racing and this game uh, really took a lot of good advantage of um, wall climbing and ledge grabbing. I'm really glad it did. Otherwise, our boy here wouldn't be able to do much more. 
also really dig this helicopter thing too. It's a bit disappointing that they took this out of uh, Modern Immune. Jesus Christ. These dudes are everywhere. Yo, hold on. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Yo, what the freak? Yo, one of them just smacked me and then <laughs> I kicked their asses all the way off the screen. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't think we're done, are we? Yo, that was... Okay. Dude. Okay, that was really fast. I'm gonna do episode three. You know, I kind of figured some episodes would be shorter than others, so... It definitely uh, expect me to play throughout more than one episode in a uh, episode. <laughs> But yeah, let's let's hop over to episode three. I think we have a cutscene. Episode three of Zero's Journey. Okay, no, we don't. I think as we progress in this one, though, we do. We we will have one coming up. Because soon we're about to run into Cortex. No surprise, no surprise. Okay, thank goodness I made that. Yeet. I like how they're all just like hanging there. I don't know why they're there, considering that there's a giant like I was about to say pool, but you know, I'm out of water. I don't know how else to word it because I'm kind of brain dead at the moment. But you know, it's down there. All right, we got a spike up here. Let's go take care of him. Oh, you almost got me there, fam. You almost got me there. Shout out to my quick reflex, uh, reflexes, though. Alright. No, I was just running through you. You ain't doing shite to me. Or my partner. Nope, I don't got time for y'all. I dare y'all to run up. If y'all run up, we gonna have some issues. <laughs> I'm just minding my business, fam. Thanks for the mojo, fam. Oh, shit, I hear I'm getting closer. But they can't jump. Wee! Wee! See, once you beat the game and you have everything unlocked, or if you just want to get through a part without, like, you know, beating up shit, you can actually get through the game without, you know, you could you could skip some parts of the beat 'em up part of the game, or uh, game, not games, to like play it like a normal crash game. So that's what I find really interesting about that. Like majority of the time, I just choose to beat these dudes up. Okay, yuck. Get out of my way, fam. You know, I almost wanted to hop off this dude and then, like, whatchamacallit, I wanted to, um, use Aku Aku to slide, but I ain't gonna do that. Now, pretty much what this is, for those that don't know, uh, this is pretty much like a, a timing thing. You have to do something before the time runs out, essentially. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Alright, so now we gotta kill three snipes and all these freaking... Ractanian freaking... Slaves. Essentially. Then we really think about it. If Aurora can break a box... And Crash has possession of something like that... Because we don't know how much that fucking crate weighs. Like... <laughs> If a roar can destroy it, uh, you know, a giant crate, that's that's kind of saying a lot. I'm just saying. Are we done? Did we do it? Well done. I think you'll get concept art or like a, you'll get something here. I know you get like a blue doll after you finish one of those. Most of the time, at least. Also, Spike is gone. Slot our way up here. Alright. Okay, so we're about to actually um, go through one of the more interesting part of the games. We're going to enter like a big ass temple soon. I think it's in episode 4 actually, but we're getting there. I'm not too sure if we'll be able to make it uh, in this episode. But we're going to have to fight a lot of titans down here. A, a snipe's going to appear. Yup, there he is. Yeet. Alright, so we're going to need this dude to destroy those four targets up ahead. 
and then we'll be able to progress. And again, I'm not 100% sure, but I think we will be running into uh, Cortex and shit soon. One of my favorite, uh, like, I guess, I don't, I don't want to say aspects, but like things about this design for Crash is like how detailed he is for one and oh okay see this is that bullshit nah no y'all not finna me oh, damn it he died fuck ah, ow bruh you know what see I ain't wanna have to like two piece biscuit your ass but my gyro jackhammer just didn't reflect your shit. I mean, deflect your shit. Oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is when the game starts to, like, do that fucking foolery. Really be trying to destroy your ass. It's pretty ridiculous. But we out of there. <laughs> Alright. I really like the dialogue exchange between these dudes. Why are y'all still talking when one of y'all homies just died, fam? That, <laughs> yo, what the freak? <laughs> like, did y'all hear that? Y'all notice how he mentioned the whole army thing? That's what Cortex wanted to do since the beginning of the Crash series. He wanted to make an army of mutated creatures, which is what he wanted Crash Bandicoot to be. But Crash Bandicoot, once again, was it rebellious, so that's why Crash and Cortex have their scufflings. And pretty much, Crash of the Titans expands upon that, which is really, really unique. That's what I love about this game. Crash of the Titans, I feel, is a perfect example of taking something from the early Crash Bandicoot games and expanding upon it. Shit, even in future games, they could like explain shit that was that like never came to be in certain games, like I don't know, Twin Sanity or Wrath of Cortex or some shit. You know, they could make something work, most definitely. So far, we're about 13 minutes, 12 minutes into this video. God damn it! All right, here we go. So I'm assuming this will be over at like, oh motherfucker, at like <laughs> uh, 15 minutes, maybe. But we gotta destroy all these enemies in order to progress. Also, I think this is the first time people uh, that got this game are able to see uh, Aku, not Aku, Aku, Uka Uka. That's like the first time he's appeared. Oh my god. Come on, get out of here. Bruh, if you're dead ass, don't get out of my way. Alright, that was kind of fucked up, but still. It's like, dude. You're down. Why is your like hip box still active, or like your body box, whatever the freak? Bye, bye. All right, there we go. We outie. 42 lives, baby. This is actually my favorite color, Spike, because blue is my favorite color. Alright, hopefully we won't fall here. Sometimes I fall off of this and it's really annoying. But we should be Gucci. Oh wow, that was pointless. Yo, I don't think I've ever noticed those birds above. I don't know if y'all saw them, but they were birds that just flew over that uh thing we gotta go past. Alright. Get out of my way, fam. Great, what? Bro, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Yo, wait a minute. Wait a minute. See this? All right, this is that part of the game I don't like right here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank God that thing has a that move has like a giant hitbox. Oh, he was about to use that spike. That probably would have killed my spike. Also, the game just like froze there, stuttered for a bit, but we're good. I don't think we can use a spike to get through here, actually. So we gotta wait for that uh, that one Titan to come down. I'm gonna just wait for it to come by. Right about now? No. All right, we still got snipes, but I know which one we need because we're gonna be on its like back in a cutscene that's about to pop up, actually. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here, fam. All right. Come on, show up. Nah, goodbye. Screw off. All right. Come on, where you at? Pop up. Oh, there you are. Oh, hell no. Nah. What the freak? Yo. I'm trying to do your boy dirty. Oh, he can only block medium attack. Sorry, Aku Aku. Damn, I forgot. I really ran up and blocked. On that big ass thing. Freak around with me. Oh, that was close. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck. Hey, that big old noggin. Yo, what the freak? Yo. <laughs> Yo, these niggas do me so wrong. <laughs> They're all white. <laughs> They're. <laughs> Bro, I don't know why that's so funny to me, bro. Oh, God, I have a weird sense of humor. That was just weird, dude. They all ran up on me, and they were all white spikes. Yo, get the freak out of here, bro. I need him for the cutscene. What are you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crash. It's as I feared. Cortex and Uka Uka are stealing all the mojo from the temple. This is somehow related to the strange mutants we've been fighting. There's an enormous treasure of mojo contained within. It's like the Texas Mojo Repository in there. Hurry, Crash! Oh, God. Bro, my chest hurts after all of that, yo. That was fucking ridiculous. I don't know why that was so funny to me, yo. <laughs> I'm fucking wheezing and shit. I don't know why that was so funny, bro. Oh my god. Okay. I think we either gonna run into Cortex now or like. Oh shit. Alright, we could have just died, but thankfully we didn't. Oh no. Damn, we died. I mean, clearly y'all saw his animation of him getting a Aku Aku, so we didn't really die, but like we fell down. Oh shit. But yeah, I think we're gonna run into Cortex and Uka Uka now. In this episode, if not, then I'll save it for next episode because this is going to be too long. I remember that shitty ass review somebody did of Crash of the Titans and uh, Mind of a Mutant. <laughs> and they said Crash was running too slow up here. But guess what, nigga? I can just slide my way up here. Success. Alright. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Crash of the Titans. Thank you guys for watching. This has been episode 2 and 3. We're going to be heading on to episode 4 in the next part. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I appreciate y'all showing support. You know, showing all that love to the series and whatnot. This episode is almost 20 minutes long and I'm glad it didn't hit that mark. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Where we will be uh, tackling episode 4. And we will encounter Dr. Neocortex and Uka Uka. Peace.